Ohio University basketball had a chance to continue its winning streak to six games, had a chance to secure the bye in the first round of the Mid-American Conference Tournament, but they didn't do that. Ohio lost 76-66 to conclude the regular season on Friday night in Oxford, Ohio, against the Miami Redhawks. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ. He's Rob. Let's delve into it, Rob. Ohio just looked a little disjointed early on. They were tired early on. They played hard. They just didn't hit shots and lost by 10. No, it was a rough start. I mean, a lot of shot misses on, frankly, good looks, open looks close, a few open looks from three for Ohio in the first half. But once they got down, things just kind of rolled on. Miami controlled the pace of this game, and Ohio was never able to add the possessions they needed in the transition baskets you would expect from a green and white team. Yeah, Ohio was down by 10 at halftime, 36-26. And what complicated matters was Ohio didn't hit from three, and that was huge. And then... Miami forced Ohio to play deep in defensive possessions, rather. So to compound the issue of legs on the offensive side of the floor, they really had to work hard on the defensive side. Miami was bailed out with some fouls, went to the foul line a lot, and with some long rebounds that led to points. No, and you look at Ohio first half, a 26-point first half. That's a low for Ohio. They haven't done that in, in a long time. But usually when they have a bad half, they come back and give you a 40 or 50-point second half. Didn't happen tonight. Played the second half even at 40 to 40, but never made up that halftime gap. Miami hit four or five threes going into the halftime and that was really what laid the difference put a big gap in the scoreboard against Ohio yeah the defense was pretty good by the numbers but Miami just went to the foul line a lot there were a lot of fouls in the ball game it was a very long ball game too no and Miami made them all or almost all 30 of 33 that's 91 percent their best free throw shooting team in this league one of the top 30 or so in the country and if you sit in the line that's what they're going to give you Julian Mavunga 23 points 13 boards he's a good ball player big kid he can dribble he can break a press and he's a guy who plays a four and five frankly he doesn't look that athletic that's the scary part he's not an above the rim guy but he's just athletic enough he passes and he can stretch the court shoot a little at 19 or 20 and you have to guard him out there it's all right the bye is gone most likely as of tape time there still is a chance out there as of tape time if Bowling Green beats Buffalo and Northern Illinois wins at Ball State Ohio would get the bye but those things aren't likely to happen. So Ohio most likely on Tuesday night will see either Toledo or Eastern Michigan, two teams that the Cats won against this year. And that'll be essentially the 5-12 or the 6-11 game in this league. But you look at where Ohio is, you're certainly better off than where you were last year, where you went on the road to Ball State and had to win just by the hair of your chinny chin chin against the Cards. A little easier road and hopefully a win at the Convo on Tuesday night. So Ohio finishes the regular season at 17-14 and 14 and 9-7. and 7. In the Mac, it's on to the conference tournament. And this is a big comeback. I mean, when you look at the way this conference season started, this team's played played great the last 10 or 12. Yeah, this night notwithstanding, Ohio played the best brand of Mac basketball at the end of the season. Can they recapture that in the conference tournament? We'll have to see Tuesday night at the Convocation Center. Ohio loses in Oxford to conclude the regular season. 76-66, the final score. Now for the Bobcat TV crew and for Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. See you on Tuesday night at the Convo. This is Bobcat TV.